What's up everybody, it's been a while. I've been focusing more on Instagram and Facebook lately, but I really wanted to discuss something and I was gonna save my video back, my first video in over a month, to just share with you all the people who I really respect online so that you can follow them and people that I think have a lot of useful information to share or are very inspiring or make delicious recipes or whatever else. But I haven't actually wrote the list yet, but I do wanna talk about one of them. I wanna talk about my mate, Joey Carbstrong who has just been in the media in the UK. He was debating some dairy farmers on um, BBC and on some other morning shows and things like that. And Joey is hardcore for the animals, man. He's all about the animals. He doesn't, you know, he, he likes that there's health benefits and things like that, but he's here for the animals. He's a vegan activist for the animals. And his interviews because they were powerful, because he said charged words, loaded words like murder and you know they were implying that vegan activists are calling dairy farmers rapists and he didn't say that I don't think that it is, he, he never denied that it's rape, you know, and which it's forcibly impregnating animals against their consent, what else do you call it? But the words, unfortunately, or the word murder is another good example. Sometimes using these words isn't in the best interest of the animals potentially because it can be something that people latch onto as a reason to discredit the rest of your message. Or oh, you called it rape, you called it murder. You know, that's so extreme and they don't get it. And that can be the point where they switch off. And so sometimes it's more strategic to talk to people saying, describing the action rather than using those words that people usually associate with humans and think that you are extreme to use those similar words with animals. Which is an extreme, we're all sentient beings, we're all animals, we're all cousins, we're all family, really, on earth, <laughs> like we are all so similar. So I, I personally 100% agree that it is rape and it is murder, although I don't always use those words. Now what I wanted to talk about is the thing that has happened, apart from Joey being discredited through the media, which has been really interesting because it's shown the propaganda they use to try to control the narrative and make it about Joey and his history with gangs and just discredit this human rather than the message. And that's what I found so interesting about the debate, if you could call it that, the debate that they had. You should watch it on Joey's channel. What debate? There was no debate. What can you debate? How can you justify shoving your arm in a cow's anus and then injecting her vagina with bull semen? How can you debate taking her babies and killing the baby boys and then killing these mothers, murdering these mothers, chopping into their neck and killing them? How violent, how disgraceful, how immoral and unethical is that? So what debate? They got, he got on to the morning show, there was four of them debating him. And they were straight away went to, those words aren't justified, you aren't justified using those words. So Joey was like, and I, I thought this was such an excellent point, such an excellent point by Joey. He was like, okay, forget the words, let's, let's describe the action, you know, and we talk about the murder. You are killing them against their will. You are taking them their life from them and they don't want you to, they want to live. Forget calling it murder. What about just the description of what it actually is? And I thought that was such a good point to make because they had nothing to say. Their whole debate was about, is it justified using those words? And the point is, okay, let's not use the words. Who cares what words we use to describe it? The action is the problem, not the words we use. The action is the actual thing we should be discussing here, whether you are justified in continuing that practice just to make money, harming those innocent beings just so you can make money. We should be discussing whether that is ethical or not. And if not, which it isn't, which we realize, and I, I think they do too, then we should stop. And I think they realized it because they didn't say, well, the reason why it's okay to do this to animals is because they don't feel pain or because they're not conscious. Like, no, that wasn't their argument. The argument was just, don't call us murderers, don't call us rapists. Um, you know, and I can understand that they'd get offended by that because they've never seen these animals the way that you do see animals when you go vegan. 
which is in a way that is more equal to who you are, in a way that they deserve rights, in a way that we shouldn't be killing them if there's no need for survival, which there isn't, which I'm a perfect example of millions of people who are thriving as a vegan and it takes no extra effort or time or energy or anything like that. The other thing I wanted to mention, so first of all, respect to Joey, man, he's such a strong activist and definitely, definitely follow him across social media. Now, one thing I will say about Joey is that he he's one of the best street interviewers as, as far as I've seen out there for um, at the Cuba Truth and things like that. And he's usually very cool, calm and collected. He's got an amazing video where he talks to some police officers and it's absolutely the best. It is brilliant. In that discussion, if I was gonna give my own constructive criticism, and I talk to Joey about this all the time, in that particular situation, I think, I think, look, it's, it's, it's hard to say because part of me wants to say, if you weren't as aggressive and still, because there's a little bit of aggression there, because the guy's passionate, you know? If you weren't quite, if you didn't have that little bit of an aggressive vibe, which I think he agrees was probably there because he's just speaking up for them, you know, the victims. Like, it's a big thing to talk about. It's a big opportunity to get on national TV. Uh, my personal belief was if he was, if he had a little less of the aggression, which he usually does, he's usually more chill, I think that it could have been a more useful debate, a more useful debate for more people. I think a lot of people would have been distracted by the feeling of um, aggression and frustration and which is unfortunate because that's no that's no reason for people to shut off but people would have used it as an excuse so that would have been my only constructive criticism um, to Joey there on that now in saying that maybe I'm wrong because because of the aggression that is why he was on there and that is why he was on there again in the media again and in the newspaper and whatever else covered him because of the aggression because that is what the, the media want like sensational news and drama and that kind of thing so maybe I'm totally wrong and maybe what he did was the best way it could have been done who knows and that is the point who knows everybody should just be doing their thing like if you think someone's doing a good job and you want to try to imitate that cool that's great but for the most part what I believe we should be doing is being the best us we can be we don't need a million of the same person. We don't need a million Gary Yurovskis, even though he inspired probably more people than anybody. We don't need a million, um, you know, like just different, just different people, right, that you would have heard of. We don't need a million of each one, okay? This person will inspire this type of demographic, and then a slightly different person will inspire a slightly different demographic, and so on and so on and so on. We need everyone using their unique voice in their own way. You know, pick a style that suits you, but then be you and do you. And there's so many ways to do this. Some people get on the BBC and they, they're vegan, but they talk chill and they talk about health and they talk about you know the spiritual benefits of being vegan. Hell yeah, do whatever, that's great. Some people get on there like Joey and they go hard for the animals. Great, and then some people are a little bit in between, like Earthling Ed, very chill, very casual, like very cool, calm and collected, but very stern with the facts as well. And, and I think the point is that it's also necessary, it's also useful, it all is gonna target slightly different people and nobody really knows 100% the best thing that's gonna propel us into the media or propel this conversation into the media or, or things like that. So all we gotta do is just keep trying different ways and see what is working and follow those approaches. And in this particular situation, the aggressive, I hope he doesn't mind me saying aggressive, like you know what I mean, like that very highly passionate vibe. Um, that worked at getting in the media and got the conversation on the table literally for who knows how many millions of people would have seen that? A lot of people, which is very, very valuable and important activism. So I just wanted to express my thoughts on that and say that, you know, there's, it's so easy to criticize. It is so easy to criticize. One, because you're not there and it's not easy necessarily to talk to the media about something and keep you cool. It's a, it's a, it's very, very frustrating. It's very frustrating. I can't imagine what Joe was going through sitting next to those farmers, those dairy farmers who were just so blank, so cool and chill about 
murdering these innocent beings all day for their job. And, and that doesn't mean that they're bad people either. It just means that they're also indoctrinated into a system that has taught them we love some, we kill others, take their milk, steal their babies. This is natural, normal and necessary. Don't feel bad about it. So anyway, I just wanted to actually just, yeah, just stand up for my mate Joey because I know he'd be going through a lot. Like you imagine if the media was slandering your name when all you're trying to do is increase the peace. It would be tough. And yeah, it's, it's unfair that they're using his history as, um, you know, as ammunition to do that. Joey has a history in, who doesn't have a history, man? We all got, we all done things we're not proud of. He's turned his life around and is dedicated to speaking up for animals. And he's out there all day, all, every day he's out there doing it. That is bloody good work, man. So that's it, let's respect each other. We already get enough grief from the people who we are up against and you know let's support each other let's respect each other sure there's nothing wrong don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with constructive criticism i don't, I don't want to you know i think that's very valuable in the movement and uh, me and joey do that a lot with each other um, i also think though it's really important to support each other and to you know just just show love definitely to show love because yeah this can be tough <sighs> Okay, that's it. Peace.